all followers of Christ, how do you know? How do you know that they are wolves in sheep's clothing? How do you know that they are fake? How do you know that they're the counterfeit? We know that God warns us a lot, a lot, and still he's bringing it up again. He's warning us on not following the false followers of Christ, the ones that are imitating, the one that's not real, the one that is actually wolves in sheep clothing, the one that wants to devour you, the one that's leading you down the right path, and you will be deceived. I will be deceived. So God is warning us against deception. God is warning us so that we will not be deceived, brothers and sisters. So I want to share a few things of how you know, how you know, how, how do you know that you're deceived you don't you don't know that you're deceived but those with many followers so so you can't look on the outside and know if they're real or not if they are actually for Jesus or working for Satan you do not know just looking for the outside for example those with many followers doesn't equal cred credibility. That doesn't mean that they are the real deal. Just because a lot of sheep, a lot of Christians are following them does not mean that they are the real deal. It doesn't, brothers and sisters. It just may mean that a lot of sheep have been deceived. If they're famous, doesn't mean that they're trustworthy. It does not mean just because they're famous, because of their gifts and talents does not mean that they are trustworthy. That somebody that you can look up to, that can influence you, that you can trust upon their words. That does not mean in itself. So remember, those with a lot of followers does not equal to credibility. Those who have fame, those who are famous, doesn't mean that they are trustworthy. Position and title. Position and title doesn't mean they're all knowing experts of God, that you should seek counsel for them. Position and title alone does not say that they are the real deal, brothers and sisters. Actually, a lot of times, those with many followers, remember Jesus had 12 followers. Jesus himself. So so somebody who has a lot of large following does not mean they are really for Jesus. And then charismatic and false and fast talkers doesn't mean they belong to God. Just because they exuberate extra confidence doesn't mean that what they're saying is the truth. And then just because they're throwing out a lot of scriptures, the devil knows scripture, the Pharisees know scripture. Just because they're throwing scriptures out repeatedly, I've seen somebody do this. They're just throwing out scriptures repeatedly for everything, for everything they talk about does not mean that they are the true follower of Christ. You may be deceived, brothers and sisters. For in 1 Corinthians 1 27, but God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. Remember, God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. It is not necessarily somebody that we would pick. It is not necessarily based on their degrees, their title, their, their credentials, their um, charismatic personality. It is none of those brothers and sisters that determine that. So remember that you got to look at their fruit. You got to look at their footprint. You cannot alone just willingly deceit be deceived by them because they have a lot of other Christians that are following them. They must be real. They're famous. So everybody else must have checked them out. They must be real. They, um, have all these degrees behind them. So they are intelligent. So they know all their stuff. They know Greek, Hebrew. They know all these languages. So they must be real. Brothers and sisters, the devil will use those things. The devil will send his people in. The devil knows scripture. So be reminded and heed this warning, brothers and sisters, that just because of all that. Now, I'm not saying that all these people that have these signs are, are false. But I'm saying that don't evaluate somebody's trustworthiness, uh, credibility based on these things. You have to trust your discernment. 
You have to trust the Holy Spirit. And when something does not ring right in your spirit, you have to really dig down and check it out. I get emails from people all the time telling me, hey, you know what? Uh, my brother and sister in Christ that I know for a long time is is in love with this leader. But when I go there, there's something weird about it. There's something off about it. So when you feel that way, even though you have your brothers and sisters in Christ that you trust, that you go along with, and you're f having this feeling, check it. Check it. You have to check it. That is God giving you the discernment. It is not paranoia. It's not suspicion. You have to check it out. You have to sit with God and figure it out and trust your discernment. And your brother and sister, other brother and sister may be deceived. You just don't know that. And you got to help open their eyes. And sometimes if, even if their eyes aren't open, you have to remove yourself from that situation. If, if you're unable to be influenced by that. So brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. There's so many deception going on. The enemy is rising up in the world you already know somebody who's for for jesus and not so there doesn't really need to be that kind of deception but in the church there is a lot of deception that's where the enemy brings in his people groom up his people to deceive you so brothers and sisters beware beware and no and no do not because the enemy the devil, he knows scripture. He'll just twist it, right? He's not going to outright say something that's not even written in the Bible. He knows it, but he'll twist it a little bit. And as you follow this twisted word, you're going to inch by inch, step by step, stray away from the Lord. And by that time, as you are down in the pit, you will not even recognize it and know it until it's too late. So turn around now, brothers and sisters. If you have discernment in you, if if God has been telling you in your spirit about a certain leader or group or church or whatever it is, sit down with the Lord and really seek him and pray and pray. So do not be deceived. Do not be led astray. In the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters, I pray, I pray that God open up your eyes and your heart and your ears, open up all your spiritual senses so that you know and see in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that my brothers and sisters will be able to lead other brothers and sisters out of deception in the name of Jesus, that the devil will not have a hand on any one of them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty protection over your children. Brothers and sisters, if you like this video, please like it and comment and let me know. And then also subscribe and share. God bless you.